Hello ladies and gentlemen, a very warm welcome to this video, a very warm welcome to another video of mine. Well, today I'm gonna talk about an interesting topic, the Vargottam. You know, when a planet is in the Navamsha chart in a particular sign and it is in the same sign in the birth chart, then a Vargottam situation takes place. For example, if Rahu is in the Taurus sign, as it is currently and it is in the Taurus sign in the D9 chart in the Navamsha chart then this is called a Vargottam planet because Rahu is in the Taurus sign in the birth chart as well as it is in the Taurus sign in the D9 chart in the Navamsha chart. So this is a simple definition of a Vargottam situation. You know, an ascendant or a planet can be a Vargottam. So, if your ascendant in your birth chart is Leo ascendant and in the Navamsha chart it is Leo ascendant as well, so this becomes a very powerful thing in astrology. The ascendant becomes very powerful. Similarly with the planets. All you have to see after this is where the planet is placed, in which house it is placed, is it aspected by any malefic or benefic planet and then you will be able to analyze whether that Vargottam planet, that powerful planet will be able to give you any sort of good results or not. So today I am gonna discuss about Rahu and Ketu being Vargottam in the sign of Taurus and Scorpio sign from 2nd June 2021 until 4th August 2021. I'd like you all to see the chart of 2nd June 2021. If you see the number 2 box of this chart where Rahu and Sun are there and if you see the Navamsha chart where Rahu is also in the number 2 box and the number 2 denotes it represents the Taurus sign. This situation becomes a Vargottam situation for Rahu as well as Ketu because Ketu is in the Scorpio sign is in the number 8 box in the Lagna chart and in the Navamsha chart in the D9 chart it is also in the Scorpio sign along with Venus. So this is what I'm gonna discuss about today and I'm gonna predict about Rahu and Ketu's Vargottam situation from 2nd June 2021 until 4th August 2021. Well, now let me start predicting about all the signs, all the moon signs for this planetary phenomena called the Vargottam. Let me now start with Aries moon sign, Aries ascendant people. Rahu will be Vargottam in your second house and Ketu will be in your eighth house during this time. I mean from 2nd June 2021 until 4th August 2021. So during this time you can face regarding family issues, wealth issues, money issues and you'd probably spend a lot of money behind your family during this period. There can be unnecessary fights, debates and quarrels within your family at this particular moment. And you could face some hurdles and obstacles. You could also experience a transformation in terms of your career at this point in time. There is also a probability of you changing your residence at this point in time. For Taurus sign, for Taurus moon sign, Taurus ascendant people, Rahu will be Vargottam in your ascendant or over your moon sign and Ketu will be in your seventh house. So during this time you can expect your confidence level to get stronger. You will try to achieve the impossible at this point in time. If you had been thinking about a thing and you wanted to get that or you wanted to accomplish that then I want to tell you all you will go for it at this moment. You will go for it and probably you will achieve all those things you wanted to 
during this time your confidence level will be very high at this moment but in terms of your health this time is not gonna be a good time for y'all your spouse at this moment is not gonna support you and you will face opposition from your spouse at this moment if you wanted to take a decision which will affect you and your spouse then probably during this time you will face opposition from your spouse you can also face some stomach related issues at this point in time well for gemini moon sign gemini ascendant people rahu will be in your 12th house so you can expect unnecessary expenditure during this time you will have to face expenditure after expenditure during this time and those expenses will not yield any sort of profits for y'all at this time or in the future unnecessary travel abroad or wasteful expenditures will be the highlight of this particular time between 2nd june and 4th august 2021 you will generally be very unhappy during this particular moment and you could also face some very serious problems regarding health during this time you could encounter with a chronic disease at this point in time and the parts of the body which can be affected will be your kidneys your heart your lungs your eyes and your liver so be careful during this time regarding your health for cancer moon sign cancer ascendant people rahu will be vargottam in your 11th house and ketu will be vargottam in your 5th house so during this time you can expect some money to come to you you can earn some money from somewhere very suddenly this may not be in your calculation but you may get some money from somewhere for people who are in love they may face some problems from their love partner at this moment and for students this time is going to be a very tough time for y'all as your concentration levels will drop drastically during this time a small sickness illness cannot be ruled out during this time well for leo moon sign leo ascendant people Rahu will be Vargottam in your 10th house and Ketu will be Vargottam in your 4th house so during this time you can face some problems in your job in your career with the position you are in suppose if you are in a very high position in your job or in business then there is a possibility of you to fall from that position you may be demoted at this point in time by life in terms of your career your efforts during this time will go a complete waste and you can expect enmity in your workplace at this point in time and this could lead you to leave your job leave your business leave your profession at this moment you will not be very happy with your children at this moment well for virgo moon sign virgo ascendant people rahu will be in your 9th house in its virgottam position and ketu will be in the 3rd house in its virgottam position as well at this particular time your luck is gonna support you suppose if you were trying to accomplish something in your life since a long time then during this time you will be able to achieve those things which you were not able to earlier your friend acquaintance or your relative will come forward to help you at this moment your father or your mother may also come to your rescue at this particular moment and probably the elders of the family may guide you on what you should do next in your life so it is better for you to listen to your elders at this point in time it is better for you to listen to your teachers at this point in time because they will be the best guide for y'all at this moment if you get a chance to travel abroad i'd suggest y'all not to go ahead with this trip because it will be a trip which will not yield any sort of profits for y'all at this point in time or in the future well for libra moon sign libra ascendant people rahu will be vargottam in your 8th house and ketu will be vargottam in your 2nd house so during this time you can expect very sudden money from somewhere you can get sudden money 
from a lottery, from stock market or from an unconventional source. You could also expect to get an inheritance during this time. The life which you were leading previously, there will be a change in that routine. During this time, you will start to make some efforts behind your career, behind your business, behind your job, behind your profession. If you were not able to make any sort of breakthrough previously, then during this time you will work hard to ensure that you make some sort of breakthrough during this time. Though mentally you will be very disturbed during this time. Obstacles and hardships can engulf you at this particular moment and you will feel suffocated facing those obstacles and hurdles during this time. Well, for Scorpio moon sign, Scorpio ascendant people, Ketu will be Vargottam in your ascendant or over your moon sign and Rahu will be in your 7th house. So during this time, you can face some problems in your business. Your expenses will be more than your income during this time and you are gonna face a lot of problems regarding business at this point in time. Your employees will trouble you at this moment and they may try to destroy your business at this particular moment. If you are planning to expand your business, then I'd suggest you all not to do so. Your spouse is gonna make life hell for you at this particular moment and you will feel suffocated staying with them. I'd suggest you all, if you can, stay separately from your spouse during this Vargottam Rahu and Vargottam Ketu. You will be dissatisfied, dejected and depressed being with your spouse at this moment. So I'd suggest you all to stay away from them as long as you can during this time. Well, for Sagittarius moon sign, Sagittarius ascendant people, Rahu Vargottam will be in your 6th house and Ketu will be in your 12th house. So during this time, you can expect some enemies to trouble you. Those enemies will be secret enemies and they will try to malign your image in the society. They will try to malign your image in your workplace. They may malign your image in front of your bosses and superiors. And hence, you may have to face the wrath from your bosses, your superiors or the society. Your secret enemies may bring disrepute to you and your family at this moment. Unnecessary expenditure, unnecessary travel would be the highlight during this period of Vargottam Rahu and Ketu for y'all. Well, for Capricorn moon sign, Capricorn ascendant people, Rahu will be in your fifth house and Ketu will be in your 11th house. They will both be in a Vargottam position during this time. So during this time, you can face some health issues. Those health issues may not be very chronic, but you will have a continuous health problem during this time. Your children may not listen to you during this time. They may not take your suggestions or advice from you at this moment. And this would be the reason for your frustration during this time. If you are having a love affair, then during this time that love affair may break completely. Your love partner may leave you permanently during this time. If you are a student, then I'd encourage you to work very hard during this time because it may be very difficult for you to understand, grasp or comprehend your subjects which you are trying to. If you are appearing for an exam or a competitive exam, then I'd suggest you all to work very hard before giving that exam. In terms of money, you will be very lucky at this particular moment. Aquarius moon sign, Aquarius ascendant people, Rahu will be in your 4th house and Ketu will be in your 10th house. So during this time, you are gonna stay very unhappy. You are gonna go away from your mother during this time. Maybe you go out of your house for further studies or for a job or for some business. So generally speaking, you will be missing your home, your mother, your home food, etc, etc, etc. Your mother may not like the idea of you leaving your home at this particular moment, but you would feel that if you want to progress in life, you will have to leave your mother, your home at this moment. If 
you are already abroad and you are trying to settle there, then this time would be a great time for you all as you are most likely to get your permanent residency in that country. You may face a dent in your reputation, in your work, in your society during this time. So you need to be careful regarding this. Pisces moon sign, Pisces ascendant people, Rahu will be in your third house and Ketu will be in your ninth house. So during this time, you will make efforts behind your work. You will make efforts behind your business, your job, your profession. But let me tell you all that your hard work is not gonna yield any sort of profits at this particular moment. But later on, you can expect this hard work of yours which you will be doing during this period to give you handsome profits in the future. A change of career during this time cannot be ruled out. Maybe you can have a change of job at this moment. There is also a probability of you changing your residence at this point in time. And for people who are wanting to invest in the stock market, I'd suggest you all not to do so. Because if you do so during this time, you can face severe losses in the future. Well, these were my general predictions about Rahu Vargotam A and Ketu Vargotam in the Scorpio sign. If you all want specific predictions, then you can contact me directly. Well, like I always say that if you wish to know your future through astrology and you are determined to live the best possible version of yourself, well, one must always try to live his or her best version of themselves because there is only one life to live. There is no duplicate of a life. And besides that, if you want to earn a lot of money in your life, if you want to see success and prosperity in your life, if you want to be a positive person in your life, if you want peace, tranquility and calmness in your life, which is most important for human beings, and you are hell-bent on taking your life from the ridiculous to the sublime, from the low point to the high point, from nothing to something, then you can contact me over WhatsApp. My WhatsApp number has been given on this video. Have a great day and a great time ahead. God bless you all. Jai Mata Di. Jai Ma Kali.